This video is designed to help you start a nightclub business. At the end of the video, you'll find a valuable gift. It's a nightclub business plan that you can download and will lay down for you, step by step, everything you need to know to start a successful nightclub business of your own. If you are new to this channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. To have a successful nightclub, it's important to do some market research, get a sense of the local competition, and try to do something differently. Unique food and drink will only go so far, in drawing attendees who typically go to other local clubs. Instead, think about how you can offer a truly unique experience, whether that's by creating a unique theme, or offering events that other clubs can compete with. Target Market In the US nightclubs market to patrons ages 21 and over, though the specific target market will vary depending on the nightclub's specialty. Some clubs will market to patrons who enjoy certain types of music, and some clubs will market to patrons of certain ages. The types of events, theme nights, and entertainment that a nightclub offers, may also help to define its target market. By offering 18-plus nights, nightclubs can expand their markets to a younger demographic, build customer loyalty, and convert those patrons into higher-paying customers, once their drinking age. Skills, Experience, and Education Starting a nightclub doesn't require a business degree, but certain skills and experiences can help the club succeed. Nightclub Industry Experience Previous experience working in the nightclub industry will help prepare nightclub owners for the challenges and nuances of running a club. This experience can also help a club owner build valuable connections that they can rely on once they own their own club. Knowledge of Alcohol and Bartending A nightclub owner should have a working knowledge of alcohol and bartending. This knowledge is important in developing the club's menu and in being able to identify and hire talented bartenders. Entertainment Talent Knowledge a nightclub owner will need to be able to identify entertainment talents and hire and schedule acts. Previous experience doing this will be an advantage in this industry. Awareness of industry trends. Many trends shape the nightclub industry. A club owner who's aware of these trends can ensure that the club evolves and stays competitive within the industry. Customer service skills. Customer service is highly important when building a club's reputation. A nightclub owner who has strong customer service skills and a great rapport with customers can develop customer loyalty. Management experience. Previous experience in hiring, training, and managing staff is important, and will leave a club owner well prepared for these aspects of running a nightclub. Select your location. When starting a nightclub, it can be tempting to invest in a large facility, with the idea that the club will hold more people and be more successful. This plan can backfire, though, especially since people don't want to attend a half-empty club. Instead, Keep your club size manageable, and only open a club that you're confident you can fill night and night again. Venue costs will vary depending on the nightclub size, location, and amenities. Rental costs for clubs in high traffic locations will be higher, but a well-located venue can generate valuable walk-in traffic and public awareness of the business. Get your marketing plan in place. Marketing is essential to building up initial excitement around the nightclub and drawing attendees to the club and special events. Common marketing activities include social media marketing on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest, online advertising, and print advertising. Grand opening marketing efforts commonly include contests, prize giveaways, and working with local radio stations to create word-of-mouth buzz. If you can afford it, bringing in celebrities or well-known DJs can be a great way to draw in a crowd. Set up an accounting system. Setting up an accounting system is critical to the long-term success of your nightclub business. Staying on top of taxes not only keeps the business out of trouble with the government, but the numbers can be used to track and monitor trends in cash flow, in the business and maximize profits. How much does it cost to start a nightclub? The cost to start a nightclub business varies significantly depending on the club's size, whether you're renting or building a club, the nightclub's location, and more. Plan to spend at least $80,000 in total startup costs for a smaller establishment run out of a rented space. Building a larger club can cost $400,000 or more. Some of the higher priced items include furniture and fixtures, decor, renovation costs, dance floor construction, inventory and supplies, kitchen equipment, sound system, entertainment system, lighting, signage, website and marketing, working capital to fund the first three to six months of rent, insurance, utilities, payroll, etc. How much can a nightclub owner make? While starting a nightclub requires a significant investment, it can be a lucrative business, too. 
Nightclub Biz reports that a 3,000-square-foot nightclub could earn between $1,500 and $10,000 per night, with the average being about $5,200 per night. Trendy clubs in desirable locations like Las Vegas and Miami, can bring in as much as $25,000 to $80,000 in a single night. But these clubs are far from average. Club profits will depend on many factors, including the club's size, its food and drink offerings and profit margins, and special events that it uses to encourage attendance. A creative specialty can help make a club highly desirable and help fill the space each night, driving up profits in turn. The next part of the video is not specific to a nightclub business. Nevertheless, this knowledge is essential for success in the nightclub business, as well as in any other business. Ignore it at your own peril. E-operating a successful nightclub business will depend on the following four conventions. 1. A practical plan, with a solid foundation. 2. Dedication, and willingness to sacrifice, to reach your goal. 3. Technical skills. 4. Basic knowledge of management, finance, record keeping and market analysis. As a new owner, you will need to master these skills, and techniques, if your business is to be successful. Finding a niche. Small businesses range in size from a manufacturer, with many employees, and millions of dollars in equipment, to the lone window washer, with a bucket and a sponge. Obviously, the knowledge and skills, required for these two extremes, are far apart, but for success they have one thing in common. Each has found a business niche, and is filling it. The most critical problems you will face, in your early planning, will be to find your niche, and determine the feasibility of your idea. Get into the right business at the right time, is very good advice, but following that advice, may be difficult. Many entrepreneurs plunge into a business venture, so blinded by the dream, that they fail to thoroughly evaluate its potential. Is your business idea feasible? Before you invest time, effort, and money, the following exercise will help you separate sound ideas, from those bearing a high potential for failure. Identify and briefly describe, the business you plan to start. Identify the product or service, you plan to sell. Answering yes, to any of the following three questions, means you are on the right track. A negative answer, to all of them, means the road ahead could be rough. 1. Does your product or service, satisfy an unfilled need? 2. Will your product or service, serve an existing market, in which demand exceeds supply? 3. Will your product or service be competitive, based on its quality, selection, price, or location? Market Analysis For a small business to be successful, the owner must know the market. To learn the market, you must analyze it, a process that takes time and effort. You don't have to be a trained statistician, to analyze the marketplace, nor does the analysis have to be costly. Analyzing the market is a way to gather facts, about potential customers, and to determine the demand for your product or service. The more information you gather, the greater your chances of capturing a segment of the market. Know the market before investing your time and money, in any business venture. The following questions, will help you collect the information necessary to analyze your market, and determine if your product or service will sell. This brief exercise will give you a good idea, of the kind of market planning you need to do. An answer of no, to any of the questions, indicates a weakness in your plan, so do your research, until you can answer each question with a yes. 1. Do you know who your customers will be? 2. Do you understand their needs and desires? 3. Do you know where they live? 4. Will you be offering the kind of products or services, that they will buy? 5. Will your prices be competitive, in quality and value? 6. Will your promotional program be effective? 7. Do you understand how your business compares with your competitors? 8. Will your business be conveniently located, for the people you plan to serve? 9. Will there be adequate parking facilities, for the people you plan to serve? Planning your startup. The following questions are grouped according to function. They are designed to help you prepare for opening day. Merchandise. Have you decided what items you will sell or produce, or what services you will provide? Have you made a merchandise plan, based upon estimated sales, to determine the amount of inventory you will need to control purchases? Have you found reliable suppliers, who will assist you in the startup? Have you compared the prices, quality, and credit terms, of suppliers? Business records. Are you prepared to maintain complete records, of sales, income and expenses, accounts payable, and receivables? Have you determined how to handle payroll records, tax reports, and payments? 
Do you know what financial reports should be prepared and how to prepare them? Finances. A large number of small businesses fail each year. There are a number of reasons for these failures, but one of the main reasons is insufficient funds. Too many entrepreneurs try to start and operate a business without sufficient capital, money. To avoid this dilemma, you can review your situation by analyzing the following three questions. 1. How much money do you have? 2. How much money will you need to start your business? 3. How much money will you need to stay in business? In order to answer the second question, how much money will you need to start your business? You need to prepare an estimate of all your startup costs. Here is a list of items you may need to take into account. Note that this list is for a retail business. Items will vary for service, construction, manufacturing or online firms. Decorating and remodeling, fixtures and equipment, installing fixtures and equipment, services and supplies, beginning inventory cost, legal, professional fees, licenses and permits, telephone utility deposits, insurance, signs, advertising for opening, unanticipated expenses. Now, the answer to the third question, how much money will you need to stay in business? Must be divided into two parts, immediate costs, and future costs. From the moment the door to your new business opens, a certain amount of income may come in. However, this income should not be projected in your operating expenses. You will need enough money available to cover costs for at least the first three months of operation. The following list will help you project your operating expenses on a monthly basis. Typical expenses for one month may include your living costs, employee wages, rent, advertising, supplies, utilities, insurance, taxes, maintenance, delivery, transportation, miscellaneous. Now sum up the total estimated monthly expenses and multiply it by three. This is the amount of cash you will need to cover operating expenses for three months. Deposit this amount in a savings account before opening your business. Use it only for those purposes listed in the above list because this money will ensure that you will be able to continue in business during the crucial early stages. By adding the total startup costs to the total expenses for three months, you can learn what the estimated costs will be to start and operate your business for three months. By subtracting the totals of the lists from the cash available, you can determine the amount of additional financing you may need, if any. Now you will need to estimate your operating expenses for the first year after startup. The first step in determining your annual expenses is to estimate your sales volume, month by month. Next, determine the cost of sales. You may want to use a spreadsheet to do this. After startup, the primary source of revenue in your business will be from sales, but your sales will vary from month to month because of seasonal patterns and other factors. It is important to determine if your monthly sales will produce enough income to pay each month's bills. An estimated cash flow projection will show if the monthly cash balance is going to be subject to such factors as the following, failure to recognize seasonal trends, excessive cash taken from the business, for living expenses, too rapid expansion, and slow collection of accounts, if credit is extended to customers. Conclusion If you have carefully answered all the questions in this video, you have seriously thought about your goal. However, there may be some things you may feel you need to know more about. Owning and running a nightclub business is a continuous learning process. Research your idea and do as much as you can yourself, but don't hesitate to seek help from people who can tell you what you need to know. As we conclude this video, it's time you get your free nightclub business plan gift. Go to the description below this video to get it now. It is completely free, no strings attached. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this.